What is going on guys? It's great to see you back on the channel here. Today we're talking about free music that you can use for your videos. So let's jump into this video. So welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jay Yalofsky and on this channel we talk a lot about DaVinci Resolve and some photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even some gear stuff. So if you're into any of those, consider subscribing to my channel. But before we jump into this video, I just wanted to say I hope that everybody out there is healthy and safe. I know here in the U.S. and New Jersey, we've been uh, kind of staying in our house, not going out. We've got the kids home from school, everybody's home from work, and uh, we're just trying to do the best we can. So I hope everybody out there is healthy and safe as well. So I often have people asking me, hey, where can I get some free music or what songs are you using in your videos? So I'm going to share three of the sites where I get my uh, free music that I use in my YouTube videos, and uh, you can check these out and get them for free too. So let's jump over the computer. I'm going to show you those couple sites and um, show you how to get some free music. All right, jumping right into the computer here. If you are a YouTube creator, you can use the YouTube audio library. So to get to the library, you want to come to your dashboard on your channel. And if you come to the left hand side here and scroll down, you have audio library. Once you click on that, it brings you to the YouTube audio library. So everything in this library is going to be free. You can download it, use it on YouTube. You're going to have no problems, no copyright issues. You can use any of this music that you want. And I don't even know how many music tracks there are on YouTube here. It's probably endless at this point. So there's a lot of different ways you can search through all the music here on YouTube. You can sort it by different genres. You can sort it by a mood. You can sort it by different instruments or how long it is. You can also just search for whatever you might be looking for. And generally what I find when I come in here is that newer stuff is listed at the top and it has a new icon on it here but as you scroll down it gets into other things but there's tons of stuff in here you just have to go through and click on the play button and then you can hear what each song sounds like so we'll just try one out here butchers and you can jump ahead in the song and just kind of hear how it sounds and then if you want to download this song you come over here and click download so one tip after you download the song, the song will get dumped into iTunes if you're on a Mac. I'm gonna bring up iTunes here. And one thing that I like to do is once a song gets added into my iTunes library, I have a playlist for all my YouTube videos and all the songs I can use in a YouTube video. But I like to select my song, right click on it, and I come down to song info. That brings up all the info for your song. And under the comment section, I'd like to write whether I need to attribute this song to anybody or whether it's just YouTube free music. So anything that comes from the YouTube audio library is free to use. You don't have to credit anybody or do anything special with it. You can just use it in your videos, put it on YouTube, and you're good to go. So for those videos, I just put YouTube free. So that way I know, don't have to credit anybody, we're good to go with that song. So you can just fill that in and hit OK. So jumping back to the YouTube audio library, you also have sound effects here. And again, I have no idea how many sound effects there are, and I don't use them too often, but if I did need some sound effects, I would jump right over here. I would just search for whatever I'm looking for. You can see there's different categories here that you can search through, or just search and see what you come up with. And same thing, you just click on the little button here to play the effect and hear what it sounds like. So there's all kinds of stuff in here that you can use, and as a YouTube creator, it's all free for you to use. And since we're on the YouTube platform, another place that you can get some free music right on YouTube is a channel called Audio Library. So there are some um, regulations about how to use this music. If you come and check out the uh, About page here, there's certain things you can and cannot do with the music, but I found that using it on YouTube seems to be okay. But with the music on this channel, you can download it. It'll tell you where to download it when you click on the songs, uh, but you do have to include some credit information to credit the people who created the song. But there's tons of good stuff here, and if you just go to the videos for this channel, you scroll through, there's all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of good stuff on here, and I've used a bunch of it in the past, and I find that it works pretty good. Every once in a while, I'll run into a song where I can't download it or I have some issues, but most of the time, there's no problem. And once you click on the video from the main page there, it'll bring you to the video itself and it'll let you play through and you can hear what the song sounds like. And usually it's just a static image, maybe some info about um, where the song came from, where it's available, that kind of stuff. So to download it, you just come down and take a look in the description and it's gonna give you the info that you need. You see right here, it says free download. And if you look right below that, it says you're free to use this song in any of your YouTube videos, but you must include the following. So if I wanted to download this song, I would go download it. And then I would just come and copy all this information. And then I would paste this into that comments space over in iTunes, like I showed you before. 
And just to show you again, here's that song information window in iTunes, comments, and this is where I would paste in all the information I need to include with the song. So again, I found this website to be really good. They got tons of great stuff there. And most of the time you have no problem downloading the songs. You put the little credit in your description and you're good to go. They got a lot of great stuff here. And the last place that I look for songs is Motion Array. It's a website. I'll leave a link in the description below. Once you come to the webpage, you can click on join free. And you'll see they have different plans. Um, I don't pay for one. I just use the free plan right here and it gives you free downloads. It's pretty limited, but they do have some good stuff here. I'm gonna just log into my account here and I'll show you what they have for free. So I'm logged in and to get to the free stuff on this website, you come to Marketplace and we wanna come down, let's say that uh, I want, I don't know, I want some uh, music and sound effects. So I'm gonna click on sound effects and then it brings you to essentially their store. And if you scroll down and look on the left-hand side here, you'll see we have sound effects and let's say we want music too. Um, there's all different categories of stuff here. They've got tons of great stuff, especially if you want to pay for all the items. But then down at the bottom here, it says free items. So you can go ahead and check that on, and then it'll only show you the free items. So there's tons of great stuff here. I've gotten a lot of good songs from here that I like, and you can sample them by just clicking the play button when you hover over any one of them, and it'll just play through the music. And it'll be like that with any one of the songs here. And you kind of get an idea of, maybe the uh, intensity of a song by looking at the waveforms a little bit. This is basically how you would go through the music here and find what you like on their website. Let's say you wanted to download one of those songs. You can come and click this little icon right here, download. That's gonna bring you to the page for that particular item. And you can see some information about the track here. And to download it, you have right here, you can just click download and then it'll download it for you onto your machine. So for me, like I said, it dumps it right into iTunes. Here it is, Race With Life. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my file. I'm gonna right click, come to Album Info. So I'm just gonna come to the comment section here and type in Motion Array Free. So that way I know when I go to use this song, it was free from Motion Array and I don't need any extra information in there. So this is a great website. I've gotten a lot of good stuff from them. Even with the free version, you don't need to pay for it and you can really get some good stuff from them. And like the other free music that I've shown you, you can use this on your YouTube channel for your projects. And uh, I found it to be a great resource for anything that I'm working on. So there you go, guys. Three different places you can go to get some free music for your YouTube videos or other projects you might be working on. So if you thought this video was helpful, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.